Well, the Baltimore County Council is considering new fees for youth and adult recreational sports, and some residents and rec counselors are pushing back. Uh, 11 News reporter Tolly Taylor live right now at Dundalk Elementary School tonight. And Tolly, these fees will be one of the topics discussed at the budget meeting there in just a few minutes. Yeah, county officials say that these new fees will help make rec sports more inclusive and equitable, but critics say these new fees are an unnecessary tax that will cripple many rec sports across the county. One. Terry Santoro founded the pickleball program at this Baltimore County Rec Center a few years ago. Now I have five groups and it's grown from zero to almost 200. But Santoro says she's worried her program could soon fall apart. The reason? The Baltimore County Council's proposal to increase fees for youth and adult recreational sports. It's going to ruin the programs because of money. They got greedy. Somebody got real greedy real fast. The county's Department of Recreation and Parks announced a proposal in December, which would increase fees for using county athletic fields and courts. The Perry Hall Rec Council treasurer puts it like this. But our travel teams and our club teams and all of our adult programs, if they're on a Baltimore County owned facility, will have to pay user fees, which some call rental fees and some call a hidden tax. The worst part, Paul Emerall says. They have not told us what the rental fees are yet. So we're in the blind. We have no idea what we will be paying on July 1st. Eight, nine, two. While the rec councils will pay the additional costs up front, Amaral says the nonprofits will then have to turn around and pass those fees on to players via increased registration fees. In a statement, the director of the county's Department of Recreation and Parks says these new fees will increase funding and help modernize the department. And added, recreation and nature councils will continue to be a vital partner as we work together to build a more inclusive and efficient system that more equitably serves residents across Baltimore County. It's going to depend highly on what is the fee. If it's a, an enormous fee, the people have a choice, pay it or don't play, or go elsewhere, which means to a private club of some kind. An online petition was started over the weekend opposing these new fees and already has more than 2,000 signatures. We'll have much more on this budget meeting tonight at 10 and 11. Live in Dundalk, I'm Tolly Taylor, WBAL-TV 11 News.